is the bane of election officials because Princeton University professor Andrew Appel says the touchscreen voting machine, the type used in about 10 states, can be tampered with. Now I unlock uh, the back door. In 2008, he demonstrated how as part of an election lawsuit against New Jersey officials. Well, he notes there has been no documented case of a machine actually being hacked this way in a U.S. election. He says it could happen by simply swapping the machine's computer chip for his own. Uh, and I'll just have to replace uh, this one ROM chip with a fraudulent computer program. He was able to change the votes the machine counted. I figured out how to make a slightly different computer program that just before the close of the polls, it shifts some votes around from one candidate to another. And I wrote that computer program onto a memory chip like this. Um, and now to hack a voting machine, you have to uh, get seven minutes alone with it with a screwdriver. Our experience here in this office, uh, we all concur that we have not seen one document the case in machine being uh, compromised. John Brzezowski, the deputy superintendent of elections in Hudson County, New Jersey, insists in real life it cannot be done. He points to multiple redundant safeguards that protect machines. They are locked in secure areas under camera surveillance and broken security tape on vital parts would show any violation. I don't know how you could possibly do that to 500 machines uh, and, and get the secrecy and the time to do so. I, I, I don't believe it's, that's possible. But the professor insists it is. The good news is it's not something you can easily do from Russia. Um, but the bad news? But the bad news is that it really is possible to do locally. Well, the voting machine company Dominion told us the demonstration is not a realistic assessment, not a credible test, they say, because it was not an actual election. But Professor Appel says he's exposed to weakness, and it shows we should vote on machines with paper ballots for proof. By the way, here's the chip. It costs four bucks. Brett?